Zen Drop Shopify Dropshipping Tutorial 2023. Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. I hope you all are doing great and are having an amazing and absolutely incredible day. In this video, we're going to be talking about Zen Drop and how we are going to be enabling ourselves to do the most convenient and the most featureful drop shipping out there okay because zen drop is up there with the great bigs like spocket or deezers or even cj drop shipping so we're going to be talking about it in great detail so to start things off we're going to come over to shopify okay and we're going to log in with our account now as we log in with our account let's discuss the in-depth analysis of zen drop okay because like what's special about zen drop now the first thing is zen drop doesn't have any um you know unnecessary pricings on it like uh, spocket although it is one of the best drop shipping providers i've used but it does have pricings on it zen drop on the other hand does not so let's go ahead and add it so how are you going to add it to your shopify store so to do that you're going to come over to the apps channel you're going to click over here you're going to click on all recommended apps and you're going to go to shopify app store and once you've gone to Shopify app store, it's going to bring you here. And here we are just going to go ahead and write Zen drop. Okay. We're going to write Zen drop and we're going to enter it. And once you write Zen drop and enter it, it gives you that Zen drop, drop shipping, you know, and POD. So it says start drop shipping in 30 seconds with 30 of your unique products. It also has print on demand, which is pretty incredible, you know, so here you go. So there's four different plans. It's free to install. Then there's obviously the pro, the press, and another enterprise plan that you can obviously contact them for. But it's a free to install plan. Okay. So pretty incredible. Now, this is also free to install, which is their biggest plan, but obviously it's a seven day free trial. Obviously, I'm going to go with the free plan, which is why I like this because Spocket and other big names. They don't have a free plan. They do give you a trial for seven days, I guess, but they don't have a free plan. And that's why I like Zendrop a lot. And obviously the features inside Zendrop are also very good. They don't disappoint. Uh, and we're just going to go ahead and uh, work with them thoroughly right now. So we're going to come over here. Here we have Zendrop. We're going to click on install app. And once you click on install app, we're just going to wait for things to load in really quickly. And once things are loaded in, there we go. So it's going to redirect us to Zendrop's website. And it's on drop website here it says you are almost set so first of all you are going to keep a password for yourself so i'm just going to set a password uh, you can cancel that that doesn't really matter so again set a password there we go and once you set a password you're just going to go ahead and confirm that password there we go now once you've confirmed the password you're going to click on sign up and uh, yeah there you are so you have successfully connected your Shopify store with your Zen drop. And now we're going to be getting into the drop shipping bit on how you're going to drop ship products to your Shopify. So considering you're here in your Zen drop. Now, let me show you, uh, this is the product section and this is where we're going to import some products. So here, what you're going to do is you're going to click on find products. Okay. And you're going to make sure your store is connected. Obviously it says my store, which means it's connected. You're going to go to find products. And once you're in find products, you have all these different products that you can choose from. So let's use a few. So first of all, let's go with the, the luminous led lighting, right? I'm going to open this in the new tab, keep it here so we can add it to our import list. Okay. So that looks pretty nice. looks pretty cool. So I'm going to keep that right there. Moving on. There's also other products. Obviously, when it comes to drop shipping, you drop ship the product which is in niche with your store and in niche and which has, you know, good keyword and SEO management. Because when people drop ship, they usually drop ship products that are in nowadays, you know, like let's say Halloween just passed. So obviously now Halloween products aren't too big because Halloween just passed. So no one would really care about Halloween products. But before Halloween, like even a day before Halloween, the amount of Halloween products that were sold is absolutely crazy. Like the amount of people that were selling Halloween products was crazy. And even on drop shipping stores, like you can go to any store and it's just Halloween themed. So you could like go with the niche of the world. Okay. Now, right now it's November, right? So obviously Christmas is almost around the corner. You know, when December starts, people start just buying Christmas stuff. So you could, you know, talk about that or winter is here. So you can, you know, uh, start 
selling or drop shipping winter stuff uh and you can obviously search those up over here in the product section you know search up leather jackets sweaters or something like that but uh, yeah uh just go with something in niche now the reason i chose this is because my store is more techy okay it's more about technology so i'm just gonna go with something like this and uh, you can also go with something same in niche by that's why i open it over here because it's going to give you all the variants for this so if i like this i can add it to my import list and you can also sample order this for yourself so obviously the sample is going to be brought to you and then it's going to be taken from you so you can actually sample it you can tell if the product is good or not so i'd say it looks pretty good and i'm going to add it to my import list now once the product is added to your import list you're probably wondering where did it go i'm going to tell you right now so you can see all these variants all these images you know this looks really cool and i want to keep this so all these images variants this whole description it's gone to my products so you're going to go over to my products over here and once you go over to my products this is your import list okay now your products are over here and to send them to your store you're going to click on review and publish and once you click on that you're going to make sure that everything is as you want so you have the product tags uh you have your product type collection it's office supplies gifts gaming accessories home goods etc you're going to see the product name which is perfectly fine you're going to see the description that is going to be imported with it you can edit it if you want to but uh yeah i like what it has you can see the variants if you don't want to keep a any variant you can obviously uncheck it and you know take it out of your repertoire but i'm gonna keep it and uh, we're just gonna go ahead with this and obviously this is the product cost but with the product cost it also gives you the overall shipping cost which is pretty incredible and the sales price is obviously quite up right now so we're gonna go with that and then you can also see the number of images like look at that it has tons and tons of images so yeah pretty good stuff so i'm gonna just go ahead and click on publish to my store i'm gonna do that it says that product will show 50,000 units in inventory in your store. This is just a placeholder since we do not have real-time inventory for the factories we buy products from. So obviously, it's just going to show us 50,000. It's not actually going to be 50,000 units. It's just set by that through default. So once you publish, as you can see, it just uh, loads things and it says publishing. And once it publishes it fully, what you're going to do is you're going to come over to your Shopify store, go over to products. And over here, uh, clearly it's not published. That's why you can't see it. But the second it gets published, obviously you're going to be able to see it. So yeah, that's pretty much the general idea of uh, drop shipping with Zendrop. Okay, you're just going to make accounts on both ends, integrate them through the Shopify app store. And yeah, just add products according to your niche, send them to your import list, and then just link them. So here you can see we've linked it and it should be here so we're gonna reload the page and let's see if it's here and yeah there we go luminous led lighting mouse pad and there's gonna be all the description and detail that we wanted from it so you know there's a description the variants the images and all so yeah that is your basic drop shipping now if you enjoyed that video drop down a like subscribe to the channel and if you want to see more videos like this let me know down in the comments below but yeah that's about it thank you for seeing all the way till the end have a great day and I'll see all of you next time. Goodbye.